Hi, my name is Rodney Urand and I'm from OTS Training. In this video I'm going to show you how to change and customize your theme in WordPress. Your theme is the default template included with your Towson University WordPress environment. If you view your website you'll see the default theme. Every faculty and staff member has the same theme, so let's change it up. Head over to the paintbrush icon called Customize in your admin toolbar. The Customize sidebar will appear next to a live preview of your theme. From this sidebar, you can change the appearance of your site. First, let's click on Site Identity at the top. From here, we can change our site title and tagline. By default, your site title is your username. Your site title can be anything, but I'm going to change my site title to my full name and make my tagline my job title. When you're done, click the back arrow at the top of the sidebar to return to the customization options. Now if you don't like the default black and gold, click on colors. These change the basic color of your theme. Go ahead and try different color schemes until you find one that you like and then click the back arrow. Now if colors aren't your thing, click a header image and add a new image. Select any image you'd like. When your image uploads, click select and crop at the bottom of the page. Click and drag the box to choose what part of the image should be featured and then choose crop image. Now you want to repeat this to change your background image as well, but note the only page where a custom background is visible is your announcements page. It's up to you if you want to add one or not. Do you notice the social media icons on the right of your screen? This is called a social media menu and you can edit this menu in your customization sidebar. Click on menus and choose social media. From here you can change the link of any of these icons, add a new link, or delete the link altogether. Next are your widgets. By default there are two active on your site, the subscribe by email widget and the contact widget. Now if you'd like to learn more about what a widget is, check out our YouTube channel for the widget overview video. The static front page is what appears when visitors arrive at your URL. Right now your front page is your home screen. You can change it to anything you like. You can also change your post page. And finally there are theme options. You can change the sidebar position and the archive display. And with that, you're done customizing your site. Now I'm sure you've noticed, but as we've been updating things on our site, the live preview on the right hand side of the screen has been updating as well. If we want to save what we've done, we must click the Publish button at the top of the Customize sidebar. If we just close the page, we'll lose all the work we've done thus far. Close the Customization menu after saving to navigate your website. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at towson.edu forward slash OTS training.